Hey everyone, thanks for coming to my video. Um, just so you know, right up front, this is not scripted. I'm just wrote down some notes on a piece of paper to just make sure I stay on point and tell you guys everything as fast as I can and make this video as short and sweet as possible. Alright, let's get started. So, who am I? I go by the artist William Sean. My real name is William Sean Shu. Um, I was born in Baltimore, Maryland, United States and now I live in Texas. Um, I use the artist William Sean because Sean being my middle name um, just because you know like Stanley it's a, it's a pen name I uh, thought it'd be good for branding uh, that's why I chose that. Okay the what part of the who, what, where, and why. Um, so what? Right now um, my what would be what am I creating? Uh, a comic series um, concept art, character designs, fan art. Uh, I'm really into creating a little bit of everything. Um, mostly you will see comic related stuff, um, superhero, anime, game characters. Um, I try to do as much original art as possible. I do want this to be about my art, my creativity. Uh, that's what my Instagram page f is for, that's what my social media is for, things like that. Um, in the future, I put this as part of the what, um, I would like my comic book series, The World of Alma, to be serialized. I would like it to be an ongoing series, a long series, just like uh, Dragon Ball. Um, but don't get me wrong, I wanted to have a mix of, like, I don't want you to think that I'm strictly, like, oh, anime, oh, manga, oh, no, I, I like a nice blend of comics, I like DC, Marvel, Dark Horse, um, I like Shonen, Shonen Jump, um, I'm just, yeah, I'm inspired by all of it, and I just want to create, like, this nice, cool, Western Eastern blend of a comic. Um, and my comic, as far as that goes, I'll speak more about that here later in the video. Um, the future after that comic, uh, I'm hoping that comic, along with some merchandise of some designs that I'm doing, will give me enough revenue to, uh, eventually expand into another comic. Um, maybe my own studio, publishing, I'd like to create a magazine, just like Shonen Jump. Uh, but it doesn't have to be just anime and manga, I want to have western type comics in it too just you know I just want that whole voting for popularity thing going on and creators making their own money and you know just the publisher I don't want the public me if I were the publisher I wouldn't want the lion's share I would definitely want the artist to get most of that um after that you know that would be a huge success uh with everything going on there so I think I'd be making a decent revenue uh I would want to do philanthropy like I would want to donate money I would also um, start want to start charities, um, and on that too, I would want to invest, invest in other artists, other creative ideas, have them join me, have me be part of their stuff. I would love to be doing that. Okay, next part, where? Uh, where am I doing all this? Patreon, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, my personal Facebook, um, I got a Facebook group, 150 people there now. Uh, 125 on Instagram. I got a DeviantArt page, DeviantArt Gallery. That one I'm not on as much because um, I haven't seen growth as fast as I would like to. But Instagram and like Facebook, you know, is just really good to me right now. So that's what I'm focusing on. Um, and uh, yeah, I have a Redbubble store too for merchandise. Um, so that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, the link in my bio on Instagram. Had, if you click that link, it'll take you to like everything. It's the campsite.bio. It has a bunch of buttons on it. Each one is one of my social media, YouTube's, whatever. You click that, it'll take you where you want to go. Um, why do I want to do this? This is this is important. A lot of you guys might like uh, want to know this. Why? I love it. I, I was that kid, you know. I read comics, watched. I, I grew up in the '90s, watched uh, cartoons, anime. Um, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, uh, anything. Saturday morning, wake up Saturday morning, watch the new Pokemon when it first first came out. You know, the first, I think, 100, 101 Pokemon or something like that. 
uh, not in suit as much anymore. So my kid, my kids are, but not me. Uh, kind of just grew out of Pokemon. The cutesy stuff I do like. Some of the cutesy stuff, just Pokemon's just not it for me anymore. Uh, fanboyed it out when I was a kid. Uh, okay, so that's the why part. Um, okay, questions. Uh, comic series. What is the status of my comic series right now? Uh, there's been a lot of things going on. Publishers, uh, publishers. I've got a, I've got one publisher. Publisher scam. Uh, one that was interested. Not in, I'm not interested in them. Um, my Patreon, where I launched my comic series. Uh, so with all this going on, this is what my status of my comic series would involve is. I do not have the biggest fan base, so obviously I'm not making a lot of money off of it, and it gives me time to grow my comic series. So I'm waiting till the end of the month, September, somewhere around there, end of September, to see where it goes. Um, after that, I'm probably going to turn that Patreon page away from my comic series and more into a, you know, support the artist kind of thing. Um, still doing the world of Alma. The world of Alma is not going to end. That's, that's my baby. That's my creative property. That's, I, I want this to be successful. So I'll probably pull it back, redevelop it. You guys will see a bunch of content posts about the world of Alma. You'll see things going on it developing more. I have wonderful ideas that popped out recently because I was looking at some pages I've made and I was like, how can I improve on this? Oh, look at this comic's doing this. Maybe I should give that a try. And I, I got some great ideas. Like, it's going to improve tenfold once I get back into it. I've been only on social media, like, publicly for DeviantArt a year, a little over a year. Everything else been, like, a couple months, a few months. And I've grown so much. And thanks to you guys. Um, you I already told you what kind of work I'm into. Concept art, game design, comic books, uh, things like that. Um, and my other, my last one question was, who inspires me? Uh, Marvel, you know, like, uh, as a whole, Marvel, DC, Nickelodeon, cartoons, you know, those in the 90s, uh, mostly... Um, anime, but specifically Akira Toriyama, Dragon Ball Z. Gotta love that guy. Jim Lee, he's awesome. DC, love his line art, his inking. Uh, Jack Kirby, old school, lo love that guy too. Uh, just yeah, all the old comics. Uh, Stan Lee, love him as a writer. Um, love the Final Fantasy series. Love all the artists that you know ever touch that, I don't, I don't care, future, past, whatever, all their works are beautiful, uh, concept art, everything, um, who else, that's, that's pretty much it, um, I mean, not it, but I could keep going on all day, I, there's specific ones, like, I, I love Toriyama's line work, I love his use of softer, like, non-saturated colors in his work, and then later it gets more saturate the color gets more lush and things like that Jim Lee love his his inking's just wonderful uh Jack Kirby I mean legend enough said uh but thank you guys thank you for being here they yeah, had the video we're in you know over nine minutes sorry about that but I figure you know this was the best way for you guys to get to know me very personal you guys know a bunch if you want any more questions answered in the future go ahead and comment now that you know me, if you aren't already following me, you, you like me, stick around. Uh, if you got this far in the video, I imagine you will. Uh, yeah, just follow me. I'll keep posting content. You'll always see content every week. Um, I would like to say every day if I could do that, but I do have a full-time job on, on this. You know, that's my main income. Um, but I'll definitely like two, three times a week. Yeah, for sure. And I'll keep in touch, and I'll keep open about everything, and I'll let you guys know. Thanks for sticking around. Follow me for more.